Hi, I'm Robin Leggett, and I want you to overcome any obstacle. So tell me something. What do you think is the number one thing that you need to do to overcome any obstacle? And by that, I mean, say, start a new sport that may seem intimidating or achieve a bold fitness goal or start a new nutrition plan or even literally overcome an obstacle, say, at a race that has obstacles. What do you think is the number one thing you need to do? Well, there's a few things that are important. Practice, obviously practicing a skill, you're going to get better at that skill, so it's important to practice. Determination, I think it's important to be focused and determined and stay on track. But in my opinion, neither of those are the main thing that you need to do. There's one thing that if you don't have this, you're going to struggle, you're going to be at a disadvantage, and that is you need to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, it's gonna make everything you do that much harder because you just don't believe in your core that you can do it. So I'm talking to you about this today because I've actually been talking to a lot of athletes for my podcast that do high level sports, that do marathons and triathlons and ultra marathons and ultra swims and ultra bike races and really just high level sports. And in these conversations, a common thread that comes up is that when they started, they believed they could do it. And despite how intimidating everything was, they believed they can do it. And that really struck a chord with me and that's why I decided I wanted to talk to you about this today. And I personally have experience with this. When I started Spartan racing, I saw the monkey bars and I looked at that obstacle with the fat rungs that were far apart and I looked at myself with my short wingspan and tiny hands and I, I thought, you know what, there's no way. There's no way I'm ever going to be able to do this. I want to, but I just don't see it happening. So I, pr I still practiced, like I practiced, I worked on my grip strength, I worked on my upper body strength, but I'd still get to that obstacle and fail it at all the races. And it wasn't until a race where I was racing with someone who was my size. She's small, she's petite, she's got a short wingspan, tiny hands, and she was able to complete that obstacle. I watched her with my own eyes. And when I saw her do it, the thought that came into my head was, well then, if she, if she can do it, for all of, and all of the excuses that I had for not being able to do it, she could absolutely do it, then why can't I? And that was the first time I started believing in myself. And after watching her do it, I attempted it, and I completed it. So, all the practice, yes, definitely helped, but the one key for me was that I believed that I could do it. And then when I went and did it in future races, I already had that belief. I already had the belief that I could do it and that I could accomplish it every time. I haven't failed it since because I know going into it, like I believe that this is something that I'm able to do. So I think that's really important when you're looking at something, say you want to try a race of whatever distance is intimidating for you. Do you look at that and you're like, I, I can't do that. That's not something I can do. Or do you look at that as I believe that's something I can accomplish with practice, with determination, with focus, I believe I can do it. Have that belief first before you make the attempts, before you do the practice, but go into it with the belief and you're gonna have that much better of a chance of completing it and likely before you even expect it. So that's my advice to you today. I want you to look at something that seems challenging or intimidating or impossible for you, but something that you wanna do. And I want you to work on believing in your soul that you can do it and see how that helps you going forward okay so that's my word of advice today or my phrase of advice today believe in yourself so take that with you go out and embrace your extraordinary today